ABC Radio Sydney with uh, James Valentine. Uh, we're going underground in the next little while. I, I don't know if you remember this because I feel like, yeah, and I think it's right. I think there was this sort of focus on these groups that used to go under Sydney and under Melbourne and into the drains and into the sewers. They're known as the Cave Clan. It used to be sort of a regular kind of story, a regular thing that people would, would feature. Um, and I don't feel like they've been talked about for, for quite a while. But ABC Ivy has got a six-part series on them at the moment. So we'll be talking to, uh, to Duggo, that's all he's known as. He's one of the founders of the Cave Clan back in the, back in the 80s in the next little while. Let's have, um, you're on uh, ABC Radio in Sydney. It's 27 minutes to the hour of two. Back in the 80s, gang of youngsters decided... What's down there? Asked the question. What's down there? And started to go into the drains, the tunnels, the stormwater, or stormwater drains, particularly of Melbourne and, and eventually of Sydney. ABC iView is running a series called Cave Clan Underground Artists because the purpose was not just to go down and have a bit of a look and a bit of a thrill. It turned into almost more like an art movement. Duggo, which I think is your, your name, the only name by which you'll go this afternoon, I understand why, you know, Duggo, uh, you can't be sort of, you know, maybe you don't want to be, maybe it's still an underground movement. You're still on the, on the run. But uh, Duggo, nice to have you along. How are you? Good, thanks, mate. And what, what drove you underground back in 85, 86? Um, look, I just sort of, for some reason, was always interested in, in tunnels, um, be they caves and mines or, or whatever, and um, just the geographics of where I grew up, there was uh, a lot of drains and that sort of thing, so I sort of, curiosity sort of got the better of me, and mm. I started going in them, and that uh, where it all started. I mean, we, I, I think there is a there, there is an attraction, isn't it? We, we've done it often on the radio. We'll get people talking about calling about sort of tunnels they know under Sydney stories they have, uh, and people love to talk about the the hidden railway stations or some of the World War Two tunnels and, and and that kind of thing. So we do have we are drawn to them. Yeah, people love it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, we for thirty years I've just had people emailing me or sending letters in when we had our PO box and, and yeah, with with rumours or chasing rumours. Uh, yeah, it's just something that um, just really grabs people. Yeah. And Cave Clan, it, it did have a sort of notoriety for a while, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it did. We probably uh, <clears throat> we probably uh, a bit silly at times. Uh, we in, in Melbourne, or how we basically spread our name around and gained new members was by putting stickers up um, around the capital cities um, and along with that and just making silly videos and, and all that sort of that online presence sort of thing. Right. Um, so, you, so you did invite it as such? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We, um, yeah. <laughs> why was that? Yes. Why, why did you want, want attention? What, what, were you trying to say something? Um, well, my my reasons probably goes against the flow of most people that, that do it, but um, I basically wanted to know... Um, find out more about these secret train tunnels and, and things like that. And um, back before there was uh, Google, um, the only way I could think of doing it was uh, through local knowledge. So so that was my reason for, for spreading the, the word and, and, you know, getting our name out there. And, and, it, and it worked. So uh, what was the more worked. mainstream reason then? The more mainstream well, reason? What was it? So you, you said, like, your reason was different to others. What... what what oh well, other, others um, probably do it for a bit of fame, or, or um, right. you know, or to an, <laughs> annoy people. Like a lot of people that, um, like a lot of people that I know, will probably be uh, shaking their head at me talking right. <laughs> on uh, <laughs> talking on the radio about it. So. I, I've been down, you know, old mine shafts around Victorian goldfields, and if somebody said this afternoon, let's go down the tank stream. Maybe not today; it's been a bit wet um, right. under Sydney, or you know, there's tours into Busby's Bore under Centennial Park. I'd, I'd do it if someone knew what they were doing. It seems a whole other level to sort of go, let's go down here and see what's there. Um, yeah, look, I, I would never uh, recommend that that anyone just hear this and go, oh, I'm going to go in mm. that pipe at the end of my street. It's, um, look, it can be very dangerous and, and, and especially on, you know, like days like today, we would never even consider doing it. Right. Um, and nor, nor should anyone. And really people shouldn't just, just do it at, at the, uh, you know, like 
they should really uh, look into it a bit more mm. Mm. Way, way before they even consider. Mm. So once uh, there's the initial curiosity and then there's a few of you starting to do it, what, what happens? What, 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 what drove it on? Because, again, I could see you might do it for a while and it's kind of intriguing, but they started to get, get more to it than that. Um, yeah, I guess with with uh, Melbourne, we sort of kept spreading to all areas of Melbourne, and then uh, you know the next obvious thing for us seemed to be Sydney. Um, so wanting to know more, and and because we, or in my case, I was pretty obsessed with it. Um, I suppose you'd be doing it thirty years later. That's pretty obvious. <laughs> but um, yeah, so then we went up to to Sydney and um, <clears throat> started spreading the. The word up there and doing basically the same thing. It was a bit harder in Sydney um, uh, than it was in Melbourne because we didn't know know Sydney very well. And um, until we started getting a few contacts um, in Sydney and then the Sydney group started up, I think that was about 1990. And legally, where does it sit? Like you make an interesting point in in, uh, in this, the iView series, where it's sort of like, you know, you kind of have a view that these are public spaces really. Uh, yeah, generally, look with the drains. Um, we, we look, we're taking some kind of risk, uh, sort of a calculated risk, going into them. Um, it's generally in 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 Victoria, it's a bylaw. Um, I've had a lot of encounters with the police, and they've generally just once they realise what we're doing, they're sort of just like, oh, what's down there, sort of thing. And um, <clears throat> over the years, I I think only a couple of people have actually been charged with anything, and that's more to do with the other types of tunnels like steam tunnels and, and, and things like that have been uh, trespassed. But, um, yeah, generally uh, the police seem to just take it with a grain of salt. Right. And so this became not just sort of exploration but a kind of an artistic movement. You started to exhibit, you started to perform down there. Uh, yeah, well, it, it was just, it became a, the more people that joined, the more of a social thing it came. And along with, uh, we weren't attracting your everyday um, Joe Blow, so yeah, we had a lot of like people that were into musician, um, sorry, music and photographers and and uh, and general like a lot of graffitiists were sort of there was a bit of a crossover with um, graffiti, but um, and then just general artists doing uh, paintings and all that sort of thing. So um, as as it grew, that side of it grew also. It wasn't it wasn't like a goal. Oh, let's you know. It just happened. The, mm. the whole thing just sort of happened. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't plan 30 years ago to be um, sitting in ABC um, <laughs> talking to you about it. I Still never, talking about it, yeah. But a sort yeah. of nostalgic feel now. Oh, I remember the Cave Clown of the 80s. You're like, you're like a pop band. Uh, yeah, kind of, although I don't, <laughs> I don't really get to feel that. But um, I do, you know, I, I do uh, get a bit of feedback. And, and with the iView series, um, you know, I've had a lot of people contact me and people that didn't know I was involved in it. So uh, that, that's that been interesting as well. Right. But, um, is, there a, is there an Everest for the, for the underground drain people? Is there, a, is there a particular one that like, oh, man, have you done that? It's un- unreal. Um, well, my one was uh, Harry Lyme's uh, The Third Man tunnels used in the, uh, the movie The Third Man in, oh, in Austria. And yeah. um, in 2001, I got to go and do them and that... that for me, that was my Everest. <laughs> um, as far as drains go, um, that that would probably be a lot of people's uh, yeah. Everest, so yeah. to speak. And you're still doing it now, you said? Um, well, I'm 48 and got uh, a six- and eight-year-old child, so I do it when I can. Right. It's not the yeah. same. Uh, will you introduce them to it? Uh, no. No? <laughs> well, well, no, no, no. My, my uh, older daughter... That's right. That's it's just, already it, Doug. Can I just point out, Doug is in the Melbourne studios where they 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 they're, they're digging tunnels under him right now. And you can hear that. Yeah, okay, you can yeah, just I'll... hear it. Yeah, yeah. But don't, don't worry yeah. about it. On, on you go. Yeah. It's... No, but my uh, yeah, my oldest daughter, she's she's aware of it now, and yeah. um, you know, she's been in a couple of mine tours and things like that. It's not that I. I mean, she's already introduced to it, but I, I won't. I won't um, be pushing her to right. to do it. I'm sure my wife wouldn't be pushing her either. <laughs> so it's not at the age of ten you'll go, darling. We're going yeah. to the we're going to the Swanson Street manhole and down yeah. we go. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. I don't know how long our, our, our last my marriage would last if that was the case. Okay, so, great to meet you and thanks so much for for coming along. No worries. Good to talk Good to you. Talking to you. Uh, Cave Clan underground artists can be seen on ABC iView at the moment. If you go to the Arts Channel portal 
on ABC Ivy. Ivy, you'll find it there. It's about six, seven part series, looking at those artists who explore and uh, develop work underground. It's called Cave Clan Underground Artists. You're on ABC Radio Sydney. Enjoy some uh, music from Hat Fitz and Carer because after that, I'm going to be angry. <laughs> 